Hello, welcome to Rediscoveries, an electrostatic concert series by Serge and the University of Aberdeen. I am Sokchun Kim, senior lecturer in music at the University of Aberdeen and co-director of Serge. Rediscoveries is a series of performances of electric music and sound art events presented by Serge, a sound research group at the University of Aberdeen. This new iteration of a discovery series, which dates back to the early 1990s, allows the audiences to rediscover works by staff and students at the university, as well as emerging and established electroacoustic composers in Scotland, the UK, and around the world. Now in its 13th series, we have 10 pieces in two online concerts by composers and sound artists who are either part of the university or have worked with us in the past year. Before we listen to each piece, I have interviewed the composers briefly to help you with your listening. If you can, please find a quiet place in your house. Use a good set of speakers or use your headphones. Ready? Let's begin. Uh, we have Toby here. Could you tell us who you are? Where are you based right now? Yes, hi, thank you, Jun. Um, well, I'm, I'm Toby, I'm a German uh, composer, and I am currently based in Dundee, so just a bit further south from the University of Aberdeen. So this piece that we'll be listening, so actually this piece uh, we, we'll start is the second concert uh, uh, titled Message in a Bottle. So could you uh, tell us a little bit about the inspiration you had uh, when you were making this piece? When I when I grew up, I grew up next to a river, and when I was small, I was uh, always walking uh, alongside that river with my granddad, and we found uh, many glass bottles. And I always had this imagination that uh, one day I would uh, throw one of those glass bottles with a message into the river, and at some point here in Aberdeen uh, or <laughs> University of Aberdeen, I, I, I dreamed. Uh, uh, what if that bottle actually arrives uh, much further north uh, through the North Sea and I find it on the beach? And uh, what would be the journey of that bottle? And uh, mm. inspired by uh, a work I've heard at the Beethoven Fest in Bonn in 2009, actually, mm. uh, Moritz Eggert, Zeitarbeit. Uh, he worked with uh, sort of with the idea of time travel. And that really inspired me to, to write something where this bottle would f travel through time and for different locations. Thank you very much, Toby. So uh, here, here is uh, Toby's piece, uh, Message in a Bottle.
Achtung, Achtung, hier ist der Befehlstand der ersten Schlachtdivision Berlin. Die gemeldeten Bomberverbände befinden sich im Raum Hannover-Braunschweig. Yes, uh, I am a percussionist originally. Um, I originally started my career with the Junior Conservatoire um, around about the age 14 and then I came into the University of Aberdeen about 2016 to do my undergraduate. Um, and during that time I worked with uh, Dr Lisa Nicholl, um, was in a few orchestras, um, 
percussion ensemble, did a little bit of steel pan, which was very interesting. Um, and during that time also, I really got into music psychology, and that's another side of my interest that has really taken me in different directions too. Um, I am currently working a lot of music psychology for my dissertation, looking at cross-cultural music perceptions. Um, yeah, so looking along those lines, and at the present moment, um, I'm actually currently in Oxford at the uni here, I'm currently doing a summer research internship surrounding music algorithms and artificial intelligence. And this was originally composed as a part of um, our course with yourself. It was a surrounding 3D audio uh, and immersive sound. Um, and I wanted to play the idea with space. Um, I've come from quite a, uh, my mum was very big, uh, astronomer herself um, and the quadrivium essentially is um, the ancient subject that surrounded numbers so for example there was a geometry had a you know it was numbers in space music was also part of the subject so that was numbers in time um, then you had basic numbers of you know a just well maths <laughs> essentially and then you had astronomy which was numbers in space and time and in this piece I'm really just playing on that idea um, I'm using ambisonics um, quad the quadrants in space and I've basically used um, cycle of fifths to um, shall we say mathematically calculate where these sounds should be in space in a, in a, a shape that's called a I'm going to try and pronounce this. I might be quite wrong. <laughs> um, never mind. I was just trying to plot it in space um, to just create a bit of a sound experiment. I don't think I'd ever call this piece a musical piece. Um, I'm just interested in how the mathematics can fit into, into space and into sound um, and what interesting sounds you can get from it. Because there's a few points in the piece where, you know, there's a lot of, at the beginning, it's very, you know, clashing. So it's just like the, the sound is dispersing and you're beginning to hear everything. But there's a few points where the notes kind of just kind of join together and make interesting chords. It's like that moment of like tonal clarity from the, from the chaos. Um, that I just I thought, oh yeah, that's, that's my favorite part of the piece. <laughs> uh, just hearing that, that sense of tonal clarity. Um, and so, yes, it's just, it's just an idea of just working with, with the idea of numbers and, and sound, yeah, and space, yeah.
The next piece we will be listening to is Solaris Sketch P. Uh, it's my piece. Uh, as the title suggests, it's a sketch uh, based on the responses that I had uh, while I was reading uh, this famous uh, sci-fi um, novel called Solaris. The piece doesn't have any structure or any um, motivic ideas or any normal or usual uh, musical identity, if you will. Uh, what, uh, what I think it only has is a uh, pure and sheer uh, momentum. So if you can the, uh, listen to the piece a bit loud and uh, hope that the, uh, uh, you will have a similar uh, feeling that I had when I was reading Solaris.
Hi, Maya. Hi. So uh, could you first tell us that, uh, who you are and then uh, where are you based right now? Uh, thank you, Joan. Um, I am, my name is Maya Zecha. I am based uh, in Aberdeen. Uh, I am, um, I'm working across uh, media, sound, performance art, uh, video, installation. Uh, and I completed my PhD at uh, Gray School of Art in 2019 with support of the uh, music program of uh, University of Aberdeen. Okay, excellent. Yes. So about this piece that we are, we, we are about to enjoy, uh, In Search of the Sun, uh, what's, your, uh, what's your inspiration uh, for this piece? Well, the story of this piece is a bit lengthy, so um, please, if you would like to learn more, uh, get in touch and check my social media. Um, in short, uh, I developed it as part of my uh, residency uh, in Aberdeen Art Gallery earlier this year. Uh, it is inspired by a modernist bust uh, that is in permanent collection of the gallery called Istre. Hymn to the Sun by J.D. Ferguson. And the piece is a depiction of a Saxon goddess. Um, and I'm, because in my work, I look into uh, migration and themes of displacement and identity. I was interested in the Saxon goddess. Who is she and where does she come from? Mm -hmm. Is she British? Is she Central European? Uh, and where the stories and myths of her uh, are coming from. So I'm creating a sort of fictional story of her traveling from Middle East across Europe to Britain. Maya Jekos, In Search of the Sun.
borders and fences in this land enclosed by the sea. So finally, uh, in this concert, uh, we'll be listening to Tell Us by Kwang Ne Kim. Hi, Kwang Ne. Or you, you can say hi, Ray. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. what we usually call, uh, right? So right, yeah. um, could, you, uh, could you tell us uh, where, uh, who you are and where, where are you based right now? Okay. Um, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for having me uh, at this concert. Uh, I'm very glad to be uh, uh, glad be to be a a composer of this concert. Um, uh, yes, I'm composer and researcher who is interested in immersive sound and space. Uh, I mainly compose electrical spaces in many different styles, including uh, live instruments works interactive audio visuals and sound installations and deliver it to audience by multi-channel and immersive sound representation. Mm, this year I finished my PhD at the University of Aberdeen and now I moved to Seoul, Korea and find some opportunity to continue and develop my musical career. So yes, let's talk about your piece. So tell us, um, mm -hmm. could you tell us what was your inspiration for this piece? Yes, uh, Tele is my, uh, one of my uh, portfolio of my uh, PhD portfolio. Uh, yeah, and it, this is the last work that I composed uh, during my study. Um, uh, first of all, I was curious about how the recorded sound can deliver an image of the certain place to the listener. Um, place has its own uniqueness due to the geographical and historical factors. Uh, before we get there, uh, such places are uh, exposed to us through mass media with symbolic images Thus, its space is given a face of poetic image. Um, New York City, for example, feels to me as a symbol of capitalism consists, consists of a huge forest of buildings. Mm. 
uh, the mega city is uh, somewhat familiar to me despite my few visits uh, maybe because of the repeated exposure in the media mm. Mm. in this piece i plan to record the soundscape at various landmarks in manhattan such as washington square park new york public library times square underground station etc by a portable ambisonic microphone uh, even such a well-known place place it is not easy to distinguish the site by sound alone mm. but um, we only imagine a space from object located in the sound space um, and such a place could be a uh, regarded as a park library or busy street nearby my house though mm. Mm. in other words i think um, the sound of a site initially exists as a space in our reasoning and only then become becomes a place through information in our memory mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I focused on the combination of the recorded sounds of objects and am ambiences. Uh, I considered which object to use and combine them to describe a certain place. Um, the place can change into another place and along with the object as a medium between them. Thus, um, listener may discover the perspectival diversity of the object within the different places. This is the, uh, so I assume that this is the ambisonics piece, right? Uh, so, right, uh, yes. And we, uh, the, the rendition will be, uh, will be in binaural. Uh, uh, right, yes. yes. Right. So uh, probably it's best uh, for the listener to use a set of headphones. Uh, well, if they have a really yeah. good set of speakers, that, that, that should, shouldn't be a, uh, should be a problem, but the, a set of headphones uh, might be better to experience the piece so yes, uh exactly. yes so here is the uh, the, the final piece uh, of the concert tell us
So this concludes uh, today's concert, see you next time, bye.